how to install adb fastboot and fastboot dynamic or fastboot d drivers for any xiaomi redmi or poco device on your windows computer hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install the adb fastboot and the new fastboot dynamic or fastboot d drivers for any xiaomi redmi poco miui device on your windows computer so i do have the poco x3 pro which is a dynamic partition device and that is the one which we are going to use in this video of course you do need access to a computer and do note i am using an intel computer for now so here it is poco x3 pro let us go ahead and boot this to fast boot mode so turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume down together power and volume down me fast boot bunny connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable and do note you need an active internet connection on your computer so here we are on the computer and i am on the official developer.android.com website and first of all let us download platform tools and this is your adb and fastboot for windows so click on the link they will want you to agree to some terms and conditions make sure this option is checked once that is checked download android sdk and it is going to download the platform tools zip file now if you go to your downloads so three dot menu on the top right and here in select downloads do note i am using chrome so here it is another thing you need is the me flash unlock tool for the drivers all the relevant links can be found in the description of this video so i'm going to say show in folder and here unfortunately i have only two files so i have the me flash unlock and platform tools select both of them and say cut what we're going to do next is put them inside one specific folder so that it makes our life easier so for me poco rom and drivers that is the folder right click and say paste so now over here i have me flash unlock tool and platform tools so me flash unlock right click and say extract to me flash unlock of course you would need something to unzip these files and i am using winrar you can use any software which you want to similarly with platform tools also right click and say extract to platform tools windows now once both of these have been extracted let us go to me flash unlock and inside that you have another folder go inside this folder and here in open the me flash unlock tool again we are just opening it it might give you a disclaimer say agree now it might want you to sign in but again we don't have to sign in and do note i am using an older version of me flash because it lets you install drivers the new version of me flash unlock does not let you install drivers which is like super strange anyways we are not going to sign in top right you see this gear icon settings select this now click the button to install the driver let us go ahead and check it it might want you user account control or any window about driver installer select yes and you might have to select yes one more time and there it is it is asking us to connect our device again so let us disconnect our device and connect the device again and there it is it is now installing the drivers so this has installed the fast boot drivers and now let us go to our drivers folder go into platform tools go into platform tools one more time here and you have adb and another thing you have over here is fast boot so how do you check just tap on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted then type in cmd press the enter key this is going to open a command prompt here and if i type fast boot devices once i type in fast boot devices bam there it is you can see my device is being detected in fast boot mode so i have successfully installed fast boot and along with this i have also installed the adb drivers of course you do need to enable developer options and then enable usb debugging and then once you connect your device for the first time you might get a prompt about allowing adb from this specific computer 
check mark the box always allow and then you should be good to go with your adb devices as well of course for all of this you do need to be booted into miui now with the latest android devices you have another animal called fastboot dynamic or fastboot d so this is for devices which have a dynamic partition and i think most xiaomi redmi poco devices launching with android 11 should have dynamic partitions and you need a separate driver for that so we are still in our platform tools folder again select and highlight everything type in cmd press enter and this should take us to our command prompt first of all we are going to check whether we are in dynamic mode or not so the command for that is fastboot space gateware space is hyphen user space and press the enter key so as you can see is user space is right now set as no and of course my device is in fastboot mode right now and connected to the computer so first of all we need to boot into fastboot d mode so how do you do that so you type in fastboot reboot fastboot so fastboot space reboot space fastboot and this is going to boot me into fastboot d or fastboot dynamic mode so fastboot space reboot space fastboot press the enter key at this point the phone will reboot so poco logo in the building and then followed by the fastboot d so here it is you can see it is saying fastboot d this means we are in fastboot dynamic mode now what is the problem the problem here is my command prompt is stuck on waiting for any device why because there are no fastboot d drivers where do you get those drivers from so we go back to chrome and herein we again go back to the official developer.android.com and we are on this specific page get google usb driver and we are going to select this click here to download google usb driver zip again agree to the terms and conditions which they have and say download google usb driver this is going to download another file for us so now if i go into my downloads tab and show this one in the folder so here it is usb driver of course the r13 might change for you because if and when a new release is made the number might be different so we are going to cut this and take this also to our specific drivers folder where we have everything and paste it over here and then again right click on this and say extract to usb driver r windows and now we have another folder inside this you have usb driver now we need to open device manager so type to search and here and we can search for device manager let us open device manager and if you notice you have something called other devices why you E E A and of course this is the global variant of the Poco X3 Pro so it is showing up as Vayu E E A you might have code name for your device or you might have something called Poco F3 Bima whatever it is you will have something in other devices or something for which the drivers are not installed so let us go ahead and double click on Vayu E E A or whatever device is showing up as unknown for you and say update driver now browse my computer for drivers and select browse and navigate to that specific path where you have all the files so in my case it is c drive and in c drive i do have something called poco rom only if i can control the mouse on this guy so poco rom drivers and usb drivers for windows and select the usb driver folder select the parent folder for amd i386 and select ok and then we are going to say next so as you can see it is now installing the drivers would you like to install device software always trust google of course you can check that and say install and there it is windows has successfully updated your drivers android bootloader interface and we can now close this and my laptop just rebooted so i did prevent my laptop from rebooting because i was screen recording on that but yeah once you are done installing that go ahead and reboot your laptop once so let me do that and then i shall be back
so we are back on the computer after a reboot and we can now open device manager one more time and now we should not have any unknowns over there so there are no unknowns in the device manager and of course if you try to tap on the first option which is your android device you do have the android bootloader interface over here so we can now go back to our folder wherein we have everything so let us go back into poco rom and drivers and let us go into our adb and fast boot do note the device is still in fast boot d mode for me i left it over there nothing to worry about tap on the address bar so that we can open a command prompt window and herein let us check the fast boot mode we are in so we can type in fast boot space get var space is hyphen user space and then we can press the enter key so there it is you can see is user space is mentioned as yes this means that the device which is in fast boot d mode is being detected and now you should not get any error about waiting for device when you boot into fast boot d mode in fact i think we can check it out so let us try fast boot space reboot fast boot and this should take us back to the old fast boot mode so waiting for any device in fact it did not take us to the fast boot mode but it did reboot into fast boot d mode and as you can see now it is not stuck on waiting for any device so we have successfully installed the drivers for adb fast boot and the new fast boot d or fast boot dynamic and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you